Well, hello, YouTube. All right. The wildest place. Well, the continent. Let's just consider it the whole entire continent of Australia. It's just every fucking show there. Every time we play is just fucking insanity. I remember we played. It was in Sydney one time. It wasn't the last time that we went, but the time before, fuck, was it maybe 2014, 2015, maybe? We went over there for a couple of weeks. And I remember walking into the gig at Sydney, and it was like a bar downstairs, and then the venue to play was upstairs. So they, everybody that was there at the show, I was walking in to get to the dressing room upstairs, and all these Australian dudes, they have a Foster in one hand and a shoddy Jägermeister in the other. And they're all just getting fucking hammered. Every last one of them. And I remember I'm like in the backstage and I'm warming up and stuff. And I walk on stage, like start setting up my amp and plugging my pedals and crap. And I'm not really paying attention to the crowd. And I turn around and I look at the crowd and it's packed. It's like fucking. So it was a it was a club. Maybe it was probably about the size of what Zeppelins used to be, and it was completely packed. Maybe like five or six hundred people. It's wall to wall, and everybody in front to back. They couldn't march because it was so packed. But they were just like swaying because they were so wasted. <laughs> but Australia is fucking amazing. Every time we play out there, it's just they're fucking maniacs. We played. It was in oh goodness. Brisbane, I believe it was, and it was a smaller club. The stage was about this tall, so the crowd was right there. And this dude was in front of me and grabs my guitar neck while I'm playing, starts shaking it. And not only do I wear spikes on my arms, I wear them on my legs as well. And this was a good reason to wear them on my legs, because I remember just kicking that motherfucker straight in between his legs and up to his chest. So he caught the boot in his balls and the spikes on his fucking chest. And I just saw him afterwards, and he was just like holding his chest, and I kind of felt bad. But I was like, no, motherfucker, nobody touches my guitar unless I see you. Yeah. <laughs>